It's not easy to wash off the past. All my childhood, my mother told me, I'm no good to anyone. And every passing day, it felt I'm too average to live. So here I am, setting up the final exhibition. She agreed to stay with me here in this small apartment. Yeah, it's a little mess both around and inside us. She's all contained in herself, in her passion for music and dance. Isn't she so beautiful? I can stare at her for years and years straight and still not choose to blink. I'd hold her too close to me. She smelled of roses, which is not my favorite perfume. I clutched her face in my palm, told her how much I wanted her to be around and not to be madly lost in her own world. And maybe now I miss what I had with my ex. The absolute attention. I am Steve, a photographer, freelancer. Well, I'm still here, but don't know for how long. I have ever shot was with her, my ex. When we released it, they wouldn't say it's the worst. They'd say it's okay, it's average, and so on and so forth. And she'd say she loves to be around, seeing me so intense, trying to create something. She asked me not to worry, assured me that I cannot be average. From that moment on, we were always together, like peas and carrots. But soon, it felt like she was a bird in a cage, under my roof and not her open sky. As far as I can remember, I always wanted to be free, to be noticed, to be the one, to be the only one. stranger was bitching about my girl. I can't dwell in the doubt of her and her muse. I'm sorry kid, I had to leave it to you to deal with. But 
there was only one way to beat the creep in my mind. I wish to end my life and hers, but I don't want it to be called a suicide or murder. I want to end it all. As to me, this is freedom. This is fucking exhilaration. thing. I feel like I was in a coma. And now I'm finally waking up. I always wanted a perfect art exhibition. And now when I finally got one, it happens to be my last. The things you own often ends up owning you.